There we are. One minute. I wonder how long it was last time that I didn't say anything. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. I'm in the moment. Yeah, check this out. Nice, right? <laughs> Halloween's coming up, right? Halloween. No, that's real. That's real. Yeah. At work. I was at my last stop. And I busted my ass so bad. <laughs> like, skin was, like, hanging off. It's like... It's like a... Maybe, like, an 8-inch gash. And I just walked around all day, the rest of the day, bleeding all over. I'm like, well, whatever, you know, it is what it is. Gimping around, my shoulders all messed up. And, you know, it's been a long time since I really busted my ass. <laughs> and, you know, the further I get away from busting my ass, the more it hurts. What what a, what a realization of that, huh? <laughs> I went, Whoa! I slipped, and I was like, ow. Ow. <laughs> and you know what? I was like, it was tingly at first, and then I just started laughing. I'm like, oh. Yeah. Physical pain like that. I could see it in a different way, you know? It's like, I'm still alive. I'm still alive. And that freaking hurt. And and this is probably going to take a while to heal, so, you know, whatever. It is what it is. Part of the human experience. It's all temporary. This is all temporary. Once, if, if you can have that mindset at all times, this, everything is temporary. And being in the moment is the only thing that's real and true and the only thing that matters your whole life will change your whole life will change not saying I do that on a regular basis all the time but a lot of time I am in the moment I appreciate the, the summer bugs that's a great sound right there so at a, at a meeting, oh, I get all these spiritual experiences from meetings. And the best group in the galaxy, I'm sorry, New Jersey, I'm sorry, New York City, Bronx, but the best group that I have ever been a part of is from Australia on Zoom. It is the best group in the galaxy. I'm sorry, you know. I appreciate everybody that helped help me get sober. My home groups, I know who they are. Especially the brutal one from Bradley Gardens. I really appreciate them and everybody in the Somerville area. And my brothers and sisters in the Bronx that had great groups over there. But this group that I'm a part of, I've, I must have had at least five to six already five to six spiritual experiences just in three going on four months just in four months more spiritual experiences in my whole nine years so there's this other thing a friend a friend said that that one of the most powerful things they heard me say is I don't know. I just don't know. And and to be honest, that was one of the most freaking powerful things I heard. Big tall James. He said that and I was like, yeah, but he's got 30 million years and he don't know? Wow. He keeps on coming? Okay. 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 The more I come, the more I don't know. That was like the most mind-blowing thing that I've ever heard. Ever. 
That's humility. That's ego deflation. And I've been on an ego deflation trip, so... I just want to talk about the power of I don't know. The power of not knowing. It's... It, it's and I've said it many times in my life, but I didn't, I didn't really, I didn't really feel the power of it. You know, I just, that, that was just my answer. One, because I, I probably really didn't know. And two, I wasn't trying to answer the damn question. So I don't know. Or three, I don't know, man. I was lying. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Meanwhile, I know. So, the awesome spiritual aspect of getting hurt, and the awesome spiritual act, act, uh, power of, I don't know. That's a good combo. I like that. I like that. I like that. Yeah. I think even uh, Joe, even Joe said he liked that in my last video. I just don't know. And that is total facts. That's just truth now. And I live it. And I know it deep down in my core. There's so much that I don't, I don't know. <laughs> what a freeing thing that is not to know. Because my, I'll tell you. I'll tell you. I'll tell you. I, I found out, I found out a trick. I found out a trick in there. I mean, I heard it many times, you know, when my head got blown from Big Tall James saying that. That was a spiritual experience. But really, to really apply it and then see what goes on, to be aware of when I apply something in there, when I apply it, it's a, it's a, it's a, different, it's a different thing. It's a different ballgame. Once I started really applying that, I'm not sure when I really started applying that. Or maybe I just noticed. No, I started applying it a while ago. But I actually just noticed, just recently, probably within a week, maybe two weeks, of how much my ego doesn't like that. <laughs> what an awesome thing. I mean, I'm not, I'm not in the, the business to piss off my ego, but it's kind of fun. It's kind of fun. I'm not going to lie. It's kind of fun. Almost understanding what, uh, what, what I consider one of my spiritual teachers, Eckhart Tolle, you know, he's all about, he's all about laughing and, and, and just, and he knows the, the laughing, that the ego doesn't like laughing, <laughs> especially when you laugh at yourself. The ego doesn't like that. I consider him one of my spiritual teachers because I, when he talks, I can really understand and I can apply what he says. No matter what nonsense, there's. Well, I mean that that that's old. There, there's always going to be a person or a group of people or a whole bunch of group of people that will. Um, um, just degrade a spiritual teacher in one way or another and I, I saw some comments uh, I just <laughs> don't ever read comments just just uh, to, don't even bother don't even bother it's kind of like the news you know it's small small doses like people are ripping on Eckhart Tolle I'm like, how? <laughs> like, how? What is there to rip on? What is there to rip on? It's amazing. I mean, the dude... Why? Because he's making money? Because he's trying to help change the, change the world? I mean, if you don't want to freaking 
pay zillions of dollars to see him live. Okay. YouTube is free. <laughs> I mean, there is zillions of him teaching lessons free on video that you can download if you wanted to. I just don't understand it because that guy is just, he's trying to help. I mean, unless there's a secret side. That secret side, oh, he's no good. You know, whatever. I still apply his teachings to my life. And, uh, and I think he has a really, a really good idea of the ego and how tricky it is. And he just laughs. He's at that point where he just laughs. He, he, he sees, he, he explains, he explains a, a person's question, right? He explains a person's question in such a way, and he makes like a joke out of it, even though it's not funny to the person. It's funny because he's been there. He's been there, and he's got the answer. That's why it's funny. <clears throat> But uh, I don't know a lot of things. What a freeing thing that is. My ego, whether I'm, especially if I don't know something, wants to me to say, oh, I know. Oh, I know. I get it. No, ask, him, ask questions if you don't know. I'm too afraid, man. I, like it seems like my ego makes me afraid of finding out some some information. I don't know. Still trying to figure it out. But I am a lot more aware nowadays. I am a lot more aware nowadays. There's some things I know. There's some things, I, but there's a lot. There's a lot I don't know. You know. Especially when it comes to like, like a higher power or something. I keep on, you know, if people have their perspective, people see, see it this way, see it that way, see it that way. Okay. And that's another thing. That's another thing. I have to watch my ego. It's like, yeah, you're full of shit. Yeah, you're full of shit too. Just, just stop. Stop, please. I'm trying to listen. I'm trying to hear the noise in my head. Oh, you're full of shit. Stop. You're full of shit, all right? I'm trying to hear what this person's trying to say. Oh, maybe. Maybe. That's what being open-minded is about, you know? Hearing what someone else is trying to say. Who cares about your freaking bias? Who cares? Who gives a shit? Nobody cares. <laughs> That's another ego deflation. Nobody gives a shit. Nobody cares. <laughs> I, can, I can make myself laugh all day, man. Um... But I'm not going to say I am anywhere near Eckhart Tolle or any kind of spiritual teacher that I I, I pay attention to and, and try to apply. I'm not going to say I'm anywhere near him. No way. But I am open to learning. And I have been applying. And my life has been changing. I like the way Joe and Charlie say it. My life is my actions. So I'm taking different actions and I have different life. And my will is my thinking. That's why they, you know, they, they break down the third step like that. You know, Turning my will and life over to a care of 
of a higher power that I don't that I don't understand. You know, they say that you understand. I don't understand my higher power. I don't need to. That's freeing. That's freeing. That's just a little too simple. And I've noticed and I've heard many times it is it is too simple. It is that simple. On many teachings, it's that simple. It's just the noise up here makes it difficult. So I don't know. I don't know what the hell my higher power is. You know, I tear my life and will over a care of a higher power that I don't understand. Okay. My life and will. My actions and my thinking. What do I do? What do I want it to be? I want it to be positive. My higher power. I want my higher power to be positive. I want my higher power to be opposite of me. <laughs> Actually, no, no, no. At, at the time. At the time of when I did that. When I was really trying to go through these steps. I was not. I was a different person then. I was not me now. I was a different person then. But back then, I was like, well, you know. I. It was kind of true of an answer. But it was kind of a lazy answer too. But it was true. I didn't really like myself back then. Nine years ago. I didn't really like myself. So opposite of me, okay? And my sponsor was like, okay. That's good. I'm like, okay. <laughs> it's that easy, huh? Yep. It's that easy. Awesome. So I don't know what the hell I'm turning my life and will over to care of this higher power. I have no idea. I don't really care either. But I have seen the results. Can't really mess with that. Can't mess with the experience. Can't mess with that either. This can talk all it want, but I see the results of what's going on. I've been seeing. Okay. So it seems like you're full of shit. Oh, okay, now I see. Now I see. <laughs> Keep coming. It's okay. Keep coming. And that's good. I don't know. What a powerful thing if you can just, like, apply that. And, like, not just say it, just to say it. But say it and, like, really feel it. Because when you, when you feel it, it deflates the ego, and then you can learn. At least that's how it worked for me. That's from my experience. Once, any way I can deflate this freaking ego, because my, my ego is not really my friend yet. We're becoming friends. I'm not going to bash on them too much, you know. We have to live with each other. But there's like just like a lot of false stuff going on. A lot of false. It's just, just not correct. It thinks it's correct. It sure does. But once I can say, like, well, maybe not. Maybe you're not correct. Boom. Now I can hear. Now I can see. And now I can feel. It opens doors. Shutting this door just for a little bit opens opens the heart door opens all these doors that's really hard to open for me getting there in progress <laughs> hear that dog that dog always he, he like viciously barks at all times. I'm like, I don't understand how she has a voice. Or she. I don't know how she or he has a voice. That's, that's the first thing I don't know. 
I don't know how it has its voice. I mean, if I did that all day, as much as this dog does, my voice would be gone. That's pretty interesting. I don't know how it does that. And I don't know how it hasn't, like, gave itself, like, a heart attack. Because it seems like it's, like, a lot of work and a lot of stress for... I don't know why that dog barks and keeps on barking at me when I do anything around my home. We're neighbors. This is not the first time you saw me. <laughs> I digress. But that's just one of many things I don't know. And I don't care. This guy cares, though. This guy cares. And I don't care what you care about, buddy. All right? I don't care. <laughs> what an amazing thing is to be the witness, to be the, the observer of this. Not at all times. I'm not going to say I do at all times, but a lot of time I do. What a freeing thing. It's free. I'm free from myself. I'm free from myself. That's what Eckhart Tolle said too. I cannot live with myself, he said. He's like, what a peculiar thought. If I cannot live with myself, which one is real? <laughs> That's awesome. That's awesome. What a great question. What a great awareness of that. It's like, just, just boom. That's a... Uh, that's a white light moment there. That's a super awakening. But uh, yeah, that's my take on I don't know and how powerful it is. It's not just a couple words. It helps this. And if I you know, find out some more information that just comes out of nowhere, my higher power gives me some inspiration to help with that, I will keep on going. So, uh, pain lets me know that I'm alive. I'm not sure why that dog barks as much as it does. And I'm not sure what the hell my higher power is either. I don't know. Beautiful thing. <laughs>